Let's uh, present ourselves before the Father right now. Now, uh, hopefully, those of you who have trained yourself have already been there. Right? 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 <laughs> yeah. It's because, you see, we don't want to just a sometimes little pop visit to Jesus. What we're looking for is a lifestyle reality. And it, got, it has to start somewhere, meaning it has to start with us devoting a certain amount of time. Okay, I'm just going to sit here or whatever I do and be fully engaged. It starts there. But where we're going is when we get, you know, like today, we're on a Zoom. We don't wait for the activation to be in heaven. That's it. So, that being said, if you're new, remember we're moving through Jesus the door, John 10, 9. We're moving right through him. He's the only safe way. No man comes to the Father except through me, Jesus said. So we move into the Father. Now, you can't do this in your head. Your head's going to have a thousand thoughts and you're going to be distracted with whatever. So make your head be quiet. Make your brain be quiet. Now, process, think, feel, sense with your spirit, man. You know, maybe this will help you. Act as though in your... Look at me just a second. Instead of processing here... Just say, okay, I'm going to move my brain. Now, not really, but move my thinking process right down here. Okay. Why here? Jesus said, out of your belly flows rivers. So we we'll just go with that for now. It's probably not, probably not absolute, but it's what Jesus said. So I'm going to process here. Okay, now, your brain's quiet, and there's Father. If you've trained yourself, you're probably beginning to feel things right now and see things. Now immerse, just immerse, just say, Oh, I just love being with you, Father. Oh, and I'm merging. See yourself just merging inside of him. He's enveloping you all the way. Like you just go inside of a most wonderful marshmallow. And it's just all around you. Now let yourself merge. So it's not you distinctly inside of him and him outside of you. Remember Christ in you, the hope of glory. And yet at the same time, we're in Christ. So there's this, ooh, both ways. Now what's happening here is we're giving opportunity for the, uh, for the uh, installments of Father into us. As Paul alluded to a while ago, sometimes you meet with Father and you don't really even know what he said. It was just so good. And maybe he does this osmosis thing. And he just gives installments that we don't even have to cognitively understand. Think of this. He's putting a gemstone on this part of your soul. Oh, he's touching you in this part of your body. And you don't even have to know that in your brain. Oh, and he's healing up a bruise from the past. And you say, oh, I love your wholeness. The wholeness you bring us to, Father, is so good. It just melts us with appreciation and fresh love for you. Ask him, or at least entreat him, or give him permission. Say, Lord, Father, I give you permission now just to 
adorn me, beautify me, whatever it is. I, I just hear, I surrender everything. Adorn me, beautify me. It's what Jesus said, Father, the glory you gave me, I gave them. Put it on. Just You put on your top, your shirt this morning. You put it on, your coat, whatever it was. You put it on. Just see yourself just getting outfitted with this wonderful adornment. This wonderful beautification process. He's making you look better than a mere human. You're looking like him. You're being conformed even to the very image of Christ, Scripture says, until Christ be formed in you. Oh, that touches me so deeply because it's that seed of sonship that gets touched and acknowledged and it just wants to sprout up and say, Yes! Yes! That's me you're talking about! The real seed of sonship is getting permission to burst into full life, full manifestation. Now in simplicity and stillness and real gentleness, don't let your mind go anywhere. Say, Father, is anything you'd like to say to me? And Paul, if you don't mind, Paul Bell, what did Father say about his sons? Uh, if you're okay with it, I feel like it would be appropriate to encourage and build up those among us with that comment that he made. You are my sons in whom I am am well pleased give glory to the Lord of hosts now let's make some responses here everybody in your own way when father says to you you are my beloved sons and daughters uh, and of course the response the next follow-up phrase was give glory to God or to the Lord. Um, I'd like to ask us to say this. That's me, Lord. You're talking about me just in your own way. Make that response. Acknowledge and agree with what he says. Yes. Now let's make one more response. So here we are with Father merged merged and that's john 17 that's jesus's prayer and we're finally coming into some experiences and encounter some reality reality of his prayer so that's what we were experiencing now this is our inheritance father so here i want to say this father says this is your inheritance and our response is father i embrace it and I walk into it with my whole heart. You want to say something like that in your own way? Father, I embrace it and I walk into it with my full, whole heart. This is our inheritance. This is, oh, just think Jesus has been waiting for 2,000 years. When will they see themselves not as a far off, not as mere earthlings, not separated from me, waiting for some time when their ticker stops? When will they see themselves in union with me in the heavenly places? Oh, thank you, Father. 